G'day mate, welcome to Captain Industry with me, GD. I was doing something I thought was normal in Captain Industry. Just digging my way through a mountain. No retaining walls, no nothing. If it falls in, we'll just dig it back out. But then something happened. Something unexpected. The excavators got together. There was talks. There was talks of unions, strikes, workers comp. So I decided what we're going to do is we're going to put together a little experiment. A little experiment with many, many different types of loose ores and confirm which is good and which is bad and which we should probably put a retaining wall around. So, uh, with the plan out of the way, can you do me a favor? Can you give me a like? You know, it's going to be a short video. It's going to be a pretty simple video, but it's going to give us all some important information we'll probably end up using later on. And same time, if you want to see more tutorial videos, probably a little bit more in depth than this one, by all means, give us a subscribe as well. All right, so our plan is we're going to take some dirt uh, and we're going to stack up five tiles deep worth of dirt. And trucks are going to take dirt and dump dirt there. We have some retaining walls to just keep it contained for the first five tiles. And then we're going to count how many tiles past that it actually slips. Uh, we also have compost because I have no idea. You're probably not digging through compost, but maybe you're, maybe you're filling something in with compost. Uh, so we're going to do compost as well. Hello, trucks. Ah, that one. Uh, trucks already stuck. Cool. Uh, when next is going to be waste. Same story. You're probably going to be landfilling it, not building with it, but who knows? Uh, next up is sand. We're going to do sand as well, of course. Uh, we also have this is going to be rock. Rock, I'm pretty confident we can dig through. Hence why we're sort of going from what I think is probably going to loosest materials to the tightest materials. Okay, maybe sand should be at the other end, but that's okay. We have gravel. Uh, we'll do gravel next, of course. Uh, and then we're going to have slag crushed. Because slag comes obviously in two different varieties. Both the crushed variety and the normal variety. So we'll get some slag in there as well. And then we're going to have limestone. Limestone being an ore, I figure it's pretty structurally sound. Of course, we're, then we're going to have coal and iron and gold ore and copper. So that's going to be the plan. We're going to let the trucks get on with it. We're going to see how bad the chaos is after it's done, how many trucks we end up burying, how much workers' comp we have to pay out. But that's going to be the quick plan. With the incident forms filled out and the workers comp paid out, I think we have some qu uh, clear winners and losers. Uh, okay, first two we're going to handle is going to be our, obviously, our dirt and our compost. And these two look pretty much identical. And we're going to use our measuring stick, which is going to be our retaining wall because, you know, it's four tiles at a time. Uh, so that's four, eight. Uh, we're going to go with 12. 12 tiles. 12 tiles and it looks flat again. Uh, and then we're going to have dirt, which is going to be 4, 8, 12 as well. And I'm going to move up to trash. Now, it looks like when they were doing the trash, they had a lot of problems. It looked like it slipped a lot. But it's actually 11 tiles. I am surprised. Uh, next up is going to be sand, which is... Uh, uh, well, we're going to ignore the anomaly over there. I'm going to call that f a 9 tiles. No, hang on. 4, 8, 10, 11 tiles. Uh, the other thing I want to do actually is... Well, I don't really want to build, but okay. Let's turn on plenty mode. Uh, I'm going to add another 5 tiles. And we're going to see if the numbers hold true after we're 10 tiles high. We might lose sand. Uh, can I add a second one there? And and what's the other one we might lose? Ah, I think we'll, that'll, that'll be the only two we lose. Okay. Uh, only one we lose. All right, so... Well, that's interesting. Sand, they can drive up both sides. In fact, actually, it looks like sand, they can drive up this side, and it's e it, it's a shorter run than this side, which is five tiles. This is, you know, three tiles. All right, uh, on to... What's this? This is rock. So this is what you'd normally be digging through. And I'm pretty sure we can call that there at three tiles. Like, there's there's an anomaly, an anomaly sticking out one tile, but three tiles. Three tiles looks fairly safe. So again, we'll just extend that out another five tiles. And then this is our gravel. So gravel is going to be uh, 
four, six tiles. So let's raise that up. Four, six tiles. Yeah, I'm pretty confident six tiles. Okay, we'll take that out as well. Uh, and then this is slag crushed. So going from our rock to our gravel, which is just rock that's been crushed up. Then we got slag crushed, which hopefully is... Oh, that's six tiles as well. Okay. And then in theory, when it's slag, it's more solid. So it should be less. It's one tile less. It's five tiles. Uh, can we put you... We'll put you here. Cool. And we'll extend you up as well. And what do we have here? Uh, this is limestone. So now we're actually getting into the solids. Things we'll actually be mining into. That's four tiles. So for every five tiles up, you can have four tiles worth of slide. That brings the question, is it worth doing retaining ores? I don't think it is. Uh, and then we got coal, which is four tiles as well. So just as solid as limestone. Uh, and then iron, which I'm expecting to be, it is more solid. So, so three tiles. And gold. Three tiles, but it looks, it looks, well, they've ruined that already. It looks tighter than the iron did. And then we've got copper, which we can definitely say is, is three tiles. Three tiles and a little bit sticking out the front. Okay, so we're going to take all these up another three, uh, another five tiles. And this time they don't have retaining walls. And we're going to see exactly how bad it gets. And I think I'm going to lose a couple of warehouses in the process. So whilst we wait for the trucks to get the dumping done, now is when I'm going to suggest that you guys give the channel a subscribe. Why? Because I actually want to do a whole follow-up video on retaining walls, exactly the best practices, best way to use them, best way to make a multi-tiered way down, because let's be honest, you don't want to dig down and just leave the iron ore on the side of the mountain so you can dig down without retaining walls. You really, really want to be able to dig down and block off the dirt, block off the sand, block off all the loose material with retaining walls, but this is just the prelude to it. We're going to be doing that follow-up video, uh, follow-up tutorial video in the not too distant future. So, as I said, give the channel a subscribe. Same time, when the video is done, you can always click down the playlist. Have a look at some of the other videos I've done, some of the other tutorial videos I've done on Captive Industry. Well, with a couple of silos broken down, I think we can come to some pretty good conclusions. Uh, dirt and compost, both pretty similar. Trash, not too distant cousin. Sand, sand I find interesting because the trucks can drive up either side of it. So if you are a fan of burying pipes and that sort of stuff underground, consider using sand and just laying them across the ground and just putting a mound of sand over the top. It's probably easier in the long run rather than tunneling down first putting down the pipes, and then refilling in the land afterwards. Uh, we, of course, have rock. Rock, not so bad. Stands up pretty good. Uh, the gravel and the slag crushed both fall down a lot worse than what the rock does. It's lost a lot less solid. Uh, the slag's in a close distance second. The limestone and the coal are both fairly solid. Iron, gold, and copper are all very, very similar. But one thing I did notice is uh, copper. Hang on, let's try and line the camera up directly above. Copper is four. Uh, hang on, can I get you to work at all? Probably not. It's all right, we'll come. We'll use one of these. Okay, so that's five tiles. And then if we go to retaining wall, off this line is five tiles. We could say eh, seven, eight tiles, eight tiles. On gold, uh, that's five tiles up to this black line. Yeah, I want this at ground level, please. That's five tiles. Uh, that's six. Gold is actually more structurally sound than what uh, copper, coal, limestone, anything else is. So when you get to digging up gold later in the game, 
don't bother with retaining walls. Just just cut it in slightly and just dig straight into it. But with all that said, I think this is where we're going to leave this video. We all found out some important information. Like if you build your silos too close to your dumps, they're going to end up getting crushed. Uh, at the same time, we found out exactly which is the winner and which is the loser when it comes to, well, piling up materials. Anyway, with all that said, like I said, there is a playlist down in the description if you want to see more videos like this, more tutorial videos, normally with a bit more con uh, content. But with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next video. All right, bye.